Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about an exciting new model based on WAN 2.1 called Recam Master. This model essentially lets you change the camera movement from your original video into there's 10 different options panning translating arcing and a couple others to start off the first thing we need to do is just download the model so i have a link to it on the patreon post in the description and i'll also link the model in the description as well so just click on the model and we can download it from hugging face so just hit the download button here once it's downloaded head into your comfy ui folder and then go to models diffusion models and then uh you can put it anywhere inside of diffusion models but i put it into my wand folder and then you can see the recam master model is right here so this is based on the 1.3 b model so again don't expect crazy quality hopefully the people who worked on this project are also planning on a 14b model which will give us better quality okay so once you have the model downloaded and put into your diffusion models folder head back to patreon and grab the workflow just click on it to download it and then drag it right into comfy ui all right, so this is the workflow. First, updating the model paths. So if you haven't watched the WAN 2.1 original video, I'll link in the description below. You might wanna start there because you need to make sure you have the right text encoder. Alternatively, you can just follow the link in the note here. That'll bring you to the place where you can download the text encoder if you haven't used WAN before. The other thing you need to do is update your model path. So where we just put our recam master model, we need to make sure that that is selected in the model loader. All right, so once you have those updated, all you need to do is head over and upload your video that you wanna change the camera motion for. So I have this video of this man making some hand movements and then update your width and height. So the model i believe was trained on square 1280 by 1280 images so 1280 by 720 should work pretty well i did try on an 832 by 480 the results weren't great so i would say it's best closer to this 1280 by 720 or 720p resolution all right and then we're using florence 2 to caption the start the first frame just to give it give the model some context. And then down here is where we choose which camera movement we want. All right, so we have panning, tilting, zooming, translating, and arcing. There's a pretty cool like previewer here for how the camera is moving. So I think right now this is on a, this is doing a zoom. Yeah, it's doing a zoom in right now. Okay, and then all of that is passed into our WAN video sampler. Um, right now we're just using 20 steps, but feel free to use more or less. More should give you better quality, uh, but at the expense of speed. It looks like a generation is just finishing up, so zoom in finished up and you can see you know because this is the 1.3b you're gonna get some morphing around the hands when the hands are close up like i said hopefully the 14b comes out soon and we'll get a better model that handles details a little better but you can see the face still holds likeness very well and the detail is really good all right so just for a comparison between the two right this is the first this is the original and then obviously the camera did zoom in significantly so really cool uh, i actually tried to train some lauras for one that did something similar to this and i found it really challenging so this is impressive work from this team to to get this working this well and this consistently last thing if you are looking for some vram help or you want to try to speed the workflow up a little bit we have these block swap VRAM management and torch compile nodes. BlockSwap doesn't need anything extra. You can just turn this on if you're having trouble with out of memory errors. And you can swap up to 40 blocks and that should help out. It significantly reduces the amount of VRAM used. And also for VRAM management, if you, if you keep this on one, that's like the highest offload percent. And it saves a even a little bit more VRAM than BlockSwap. And then the last thing is Torch Compile. So I'm sure if you have a decent amount of experience with Comfy at this point, you understand Torch Compile needs Triton. 
and Triton can be challenging to install on Windows, although there have been some significant improvements with Triton on Windows. I believe someone released a forked GitHub project that makes Triton much easier to install on Windows. All right, so let's wait for this zoom out one to finish up, and then that'll be it for this video. And there is zoom out. So again, pretty good result. Hands are always going to be a struggle with AI models. I think we all know that might be better off with doing this with subjects that aren't holding their hands out. <laughs> um, but again, I like to show you guys like the real outcome of, of these models. And I like to show you some limitations of them. I don't want to just show you cherry picked best generation because then you're going to be frustrated when you try to go do this and you can't get the exact same results that were shown every single time. All right, so that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't followed me on socials, I created an X account and I've been uploading some of my work that I'm playing with early on there. So if you want a sneak peek of what's coming, head over there. I've been working on a Docker image for RunPod that installs ComfyUI, some of the LoRa training software, and all of my workflows for you. So if that's something you're interested, keep an eye out, follow my Patreon. There's gonna be more information coming about that, but I'm really excited to get it out. I think it's a really cool project and I think it'll be really helpful to some of you who don't have, you know, like top-notch GPUs and wanna try out some of this cutting edge stuff that requires high amounts of VRAM. All right, so that is it for today. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope it helps and I will talk to you in the next one. Thanks for watching.